Hey, welcome back, everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Corvette Ed's Garage. Uh, in this episode, we are going to slow things way the hell down. Uh, I, I know sometimes I get impatient, I want to get things done, but uh, the purpose of this whole uh, video uh, is to document the installation of the supercharger. That's exactly what we're going to, what we're going to be doing. So I'm sure it's going to add more episodes, but that's okay. Stay tuned, and we'll get right to it right after this. Hey, thanks for hanging in there, guys. Um, before I move on, um, just a quick uh, doctor's note. Um, Last episode, I had injured myself um, uh, working out, and I was going back to working out that same day, which I did. Um, unfortunately, uh, I re-injured myself. So that cost me not only five days, but another four days. Go figure. Um, but but I did figure out what was going on, uh, which... I, which um, uh, exercise did hurt me, and that was the uh, dumbbell squats. Um, see, I can't do squats like you people can. What do you mean, you people? Oh, I didn't mean it that way. What do you mean, you people? Huh? Anyway, um, a chiropractor told me that uh, what I needed to do is just do it without the weights, and I should be doing that anyway. So, And uh, that's what I started doing, but then I'm starting to realize that... Uh, you're going to need a bigger boat. I just can't jump back into it uh, like I thought I could. So I'm having to relearn uh, uh, a lot. So uh, I'm slowing the hell down. Because I don't want to injure myself anymore. And I want to get uh, to this project. So anyway, um, we're going to go through it step by step. Uh, you guys just hang in there. Uh, I know I get impatient sometimes when I, I, you know, screw the video. I need to get this done. If you ain't first, you're last. But I'm not going to do that, okay? This is what it would be when you first start on your engine. The all complete engine. Now it's complete, okay? So we're going to start from uh, ground zero on the supercharger project. So uh, stay tuned, and let's start pulling stuff off here. Only the parts that's needed to uh, accommodate for the supercharger. Here we go. So we're going to start with the basics here. Um, coolant hose, uh, air intake uh, hose. Um, get these things out of the way so we can get to the rest of the parts. Now, in case you're wondering, that's not the stock coolant hose. That's actually the Pro Charger's coolant hose, and we'll talk about that at a later episode. So it's not, now it's time to take the belt off. So uh, I'm using a half inch breaker bar. Uh, just uh, put it in your pulley your uh, tensioner there and uh, go ahead and pull the belt off. It's really easy. So I need to get that uh, pulley off the smog pump because it's in, I can't get that bracket off. Oh, uh, four bolts, it's done. So now what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to remove that top bracket there. That's actually uh, bolted to the smog pump and the alternator. Uh, now we're getting closer to getting uh, both those units off. So now all the bolts are gone and there's the bracket removed. All right, now uh, we're getting ready to pull the smog pump and then after that we'll be pulling the alternator. The smog pump will not be reused. It will be now deleted. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, here comes the alternator. So now there is exposing that bracket, and that bracket is what I need. Bracket right there is why we're pulling the equipment off. Uh, the tool to use, uh, you can get on get it on Amazon. Um, I'll leave a link in the description on this uh, video uh, episode. Uh, it feels simple. You want to get this? We come with two pieces here. Uh, let's see. We come in two pieces. Well, I want to get the, let's 
going to be kind of tricky here. Sorry about that. Your flange will go on, on, on this side. I got it this time. After about the 15th million time that I dropped the son bitch. Ah, there it is. There's the tool. Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, <clears throat> it's tight, but anyway, that's you get the idea. Finally, and there you have it. The pulley is off. Wow. Anyway, um, now uh, I need to remove the uh, power steering pump. Uh, there's three bolts in the front, and there's one bolt in the very back. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, move the three move the three bolts, and then uh, proceed to pulling the bracket off so I can get the one in the back. So it's now time to take the bracket off. Um, there's one bolt on the bottom there I couldn't get with the power tool. Uh, and then there's one more bolt after that. There's not two bolts that hold that bracket. There's more than two bolts that hold that bracket. But the spark pump and the alternator tied in with two extra long bolts to tie that bracket in with a total of four bolts. Now there is one bolt on the back uh, that's tied into the power steering pump. Uh, pump. That uh, little rascal right there. We'll go figure. Who would figure there would be a bolt back there? Uh, I'm going to pull that off and take my bracket home. Okay, since uh, I had to re-edit this uh, video because I left parts out, uh, I went ahead and, uh, and ins inserted this, uh, this video piece here of me cutting the bracket. And you guys really don't know how much this burns me up. They have to cut an OEM product or OEM piece like this. Uh, I mean, I am not liking it the whole time I'm doing it. But hey, uh, it's for the cause. Uh, no worries. There you go, there. All right, well, there we have it. The bracket is now. Cut. Well, that's what's left of the bracket, just enough uh, for the uh, po uh, power steering pump, and everything else is done. Wow. All right. Well, uh, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to pull this inner fairing off, inner fender well fairing. Uh, charger, a uh, pro charger, uh, provided me. Uh, another piece that I put in there instead and if you, you can tell that this one kind of uh, curves in towards me uh, to allow the uh, allow room for the supercharger um, that's this piece right here uh, what I don't like is telling me to cut the stud on the shock down to a quarter of an inch well I don't like that idea because these are five way uh, Coney five way adjustables I don't really want to do that but uh, uh, but if I have to I have to I mean I'm, I'm gonna wait until I mock up the supercharger first to see if that interferes or not if it doesn't interfere I'm good if it does interfere then I cut it off simple as that alrighty then uh, the uh, interfering that's not really a big deal uh, I got about six bolts on the uh, outside here and then four more bolts on the inside and pretty much comes off it's pretty pretty simple it really didn't take that long to remove that uh, fairing well, now that it's off we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, install the uh, pro charger fairing at a later episode the only thing left now is the fan for the alternator uh, i have to enlarge the hole because i had i bought an aftermarket alternator the hole doesn't really match up with the Pro Charger one. And welcome back to another Tool Tip Time. Welcome to the three T's. Tool Tip Time. Hey, <laughs> that seemed to uh, 
work out pretty good, huh? That two tip time. Anyway, I'm um, going to show you the uh, pulley that I used uh, to, uh, the pulley puller that I used to pull that uh, uh, pulley off of the um, power steering pump. So, let's see. This is what it looks like. Let me see if I can get you a good focus on this. Come on. Come on. Where are we at here? There we go. Ah, there it is. So, I mean, you have your assorted uh, pieces here. Uh, you're going to be using, we're going to be using this one to pull it off, and then we'll be using this one to put it back on. So, uh, let me show you how this piece works. So, you see this here, if you look closely, uh, you got two sides to this. So, one flange that sticks out a little bit further than the other flange. That side is the one you want to go on the pulley side. Okay, and then we have this here for my application. This this uh, whoops, this is kind of a uh, uh, one that uh, is kind of a universal. Uh, the, the nut there, no, the bolt. I'm sorry, and this is the one I use for my application. Um, so basically. Um, well, actually, what you should do first is let's get that off there. Get them all hooked up, and then you put the sleeve on there. And then after that, you want to insert your bolt. Okay, so now the bolt's inserted, and you bottom it out, and basically. Um, the part that you're going to be on, uh, this nut is the one that you're going to be um, holding with a wrench because it won't be spinning. And this is the nut that you're going to be pushing in, uh, which is, I use a ratchet for that. And I guess I could use one of these um, power tools, but, you know, uh, when it comes to stuff like this, I'd rather use the hand tools. Oh, you push in, and then what this what it accomplishes, it pulls it out little by little. Okay, so that's how that tool works. Now, to well, let's put that there. Now to insert the pulley back, you're not going to be using these parts. As you can see, I, I'm still having uh, issues <laughs> pumping. Mother, <laughs> never mind. Anyway, this here, <laughs> if you notice here, uh, we got two different threads here. This shaft here is thinner than the rest of this shaft. So what this does is screws into your uh, uh, power string pump. And once you have that screwed in, like so, in this case, you're going to be holding this bolt and then turning this in. It will eventually put push that pulley back into the power string pump. So... Simple tool, you can pick up at AutoZone, rent them, uh, or you can uh, buy your own on Amazon. Uh, this one I bought on Amazon because uh, uh, my, 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 my set seemed to disappear uh, along the way, or my tool, my puller. So, anyway, so that's that. And that's it for the three T's, tool tip time. Now, this here uh, is the piece that I needed. Um, we will be uh, modifying this piece. Uh, according to the um, instructions on the Pro Charger manual, we're gonna be cutting about three inches off of this. Uh, reason being is because this, this here, this piece here will be in the way of the bracket of the supercharger, so. We're going to be just cutting it right down, right, right in here, about three inches deep. Uh, cut these two tabs off, and um, then we'll be able to put this back on the motor, put, put the uh, power steering, set power steering pump pulley back on, and we'll be ready to move on to the next step, which I believe, oops, sorry, um, I'm going to be starting on the um, uh, the fuel pump external fuel pump and the wiring and all that stuff oh boy good stuff anyway anyway uh that's it for today's episode um if you lasted this long thank you for watching 
I really do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe, ring the bell if you want to be notified of the videos that I push out. Uh, but most of all, uh, hit that like button. Uh, that like button tells me that you're enjoying the contents and that you're actually learning something out of uh, these videos that I produce. So until then, again, thank you and have a great day. Take care. I was ready to go back that day. Cut. Mother Ghostbusters, what do you want?